In this video, we will show you how to fix a Samsung Galaxy A73 5G that's stuck on a black screen and will no longer power on or respond no matter what's done to it. The black screen of death issue can often be a firmware problem. Although it may seem like a serious hardware issue, especially if it occurred after the phone is dropped or submerged in water. However, if your device was working properly and the problem occurred without apparent reason or cause, then it's probably just due to a firmware issue. You only have to do a couple of procedures to fix it and the first one is the force restart. Doing so will simulate battery removal and power shock your phone. This is often enough to make a device respond again even if its firmware has crashed. To do so, press and hold the volume down button and the power key for 8 seconds. This will trigger your phone to boot up. Once the Samsung logo shows on the screen, release both keys and allow the device to continue the boot process. The moment you make the logo show is a sign that the problem is already fixed, since you've already made it respond. However, if your Galaxy A73 is still not responding even after this, then move on to the next solution. What you need to do next is to charge your phone and do the force restart. It's possible that it's just due to a drained battery and that the firmware crashed before the phone turned off. So try charging your phone for a few minutes and do the soft reset while it's charging. Here's how it's done. Plug the power adapter to a working wall outlet and then connect your phone to it using the original cable. Regardless of whether the phone shows the charging sign or not, leave it connected to the charger for at least 10 minutes. After that, press and hold the volume down button and the power key for 8 seconds while it's still connected to the charger. If the logo shows, release both keys and your phone should continue to boot up. However, if your phone is still not responding to this, then it's possible that the problem is with the hardware. It's time to have a technician check it up for you. We hope that this troubleshooting guide can help you one way or the other. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to support us. Thanks for watching.